This is my husband, Ben. I'm Patrick Felt. This is my wife, Kira. <laughs> you have to come and visit us. The West Country, really, it's beautiful. Yeah, that'd be great. It's so quiet around here. Do even have any neighbors? Ta-da! You are VIP guests. Just to remind you, I'm a vegetarian. Our gift oh, to you. That is so... I'm... Louise, doctor's orders. Hmm. Very good. <laughs> has a condition it makes it hard for him to communicate sometimes it's okay to think things but you can't actually say them oh no thank god there's a doctor in the house i'm not a doctor what what didn't you say you were a doctor did i <laughs> look at their faces of course i'm a bloody doctor <laughs> agnes love you have to eat your vegetables I'm happy don't chew with our mouths open. Please, could you stop telling my daughter what to do? You don't criticize other people's children. You should say sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, Louise. Louise, is there anything you'd like to say? And what is wrong with you? Just feel the rhythm in your feet. Right, one, two, three, four. This is the one. Hello, my name is Michael Morley, and I'm here to review Speak No Evil, directed by James Watkins, and starring James McAvoy, Mackenzie Davis, and Scoot McNeary. This is about a family who take a vacation in Italy and meet another family there on holidays and gain a great relationship and a very organic friendship that gets very close and the character played by James McAvoy asked the husband couple played by Mackenzie Davis and Scoot McNeary if they would like to stay at their at his cottage outside of London and they said yeah it says why not okay come come and stay at the house at the start it, it feels like a really close organic great friendship and you can just tell that James McAvoy and his partner his wife are just a really fun couple they just are really, you just feel like, oh, they're fun to hang around. They live in this great area that's sort of outside and remote and it's like a beautiful cottage and it's just pleasant and quiet. And this is something for them to get away because there's been a few dramas going on in their relationship and this is a way for them to escape. As time goes on, they start to realize that this couple are not normal. There is stuff that we're, that things are unleaking and as the relationship is growing and becoming more prominent, they're finding things out about them that's very strange and i gotta say james mcavoy kills it in this movie he absolutely steals it in this movie every scene he's in he is on and he lifts up this movie and mackenzie davis plays a great loving mother who is concerned for her life and for her husband and her daughter and it's just she's the audience character she's us she's the one saying don't you think this is a bit weird and it's like yeah yeah we know it's weird she's the character that is basically us watching it. And Scoot McNeary plays plays like a character who doesn't step up. He's got th this confidence, but he he doesn't step up when things are kind of heating up. Kind of sits there and doesn't do anything. He's very quiet. And when there's something controversial, like James McAvoy's wife is bossing his daughter how to eat and how she should eat her vegetables, the mother is always stepping in to say something. But the father just sits there and doesn't do anything. And he needs to step up and stand up for his family, but he doesn't. And there are moments where James McAvoy is literally taking over, being a boss, and he's just sitting there. And Mackenzie Davis, the wife, is literally looking at him like. Like, step up and do something, but she's always got to be the one to do it. But I absolutely adore this movie. I have heard that this is based on a on an original film that's an international foreign movie. I think it's Danish. I have a weakness for these movies that are remote and just you're literally locked in. You can't get out. You can't escape. You're in the middle of nowhere. Where are you going to go? There's something about small remote areas that terrify me in these sort of movies and it works every time. And just seeing James McAvoy elevate to being this guy who can be nice and crazy in one moment is incredible. He's just absolute fireworks of a performance. 
Every performance is natural. The kids are great. The kid that plays the son of James McAvoy, he has a speaking pediment. He has a small tongue. I'm not going to spoil anything, but he plays a very, very good role for what he has to do for a kid that can't really say anything and can't speak. He does emotions and through actions, through movements and, and stuff like that. It's like he's trying to tell the family what's going on, but he can't because of his tongue situation. Without spoiling it, every moment is revealed and you're just finding out the information as it goes on. I absolutely adore this movie. 9 out of 10. Please, you need to get out of here now. Please, what are you doing? Anything okay in there? Yeah, we're all good. Anything we can get you? No, 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 we'll just be a minute. We can't let on. Yeah? We can't look stressed or scared. We just have to go out there and be completely normal. Oh no! That is really bad luck. Mom? Not here. You're either predator or you're prey. I need you to be brave. You guys have been just a breath of fresh air. <laughs> oh, well, that is very sweet of you to say.